everybody welcome back to my channel it's Angela here again today um, I hope that you're all really well um, I want to welcome you all to my channel if you haven't been here before um, or if you're new um, thank you so much for subscribing and if you haven't subscribed please consider doing that I'd love you to stay today I have created exciting envelope 17 and I know I said this about number 15 but I think that this is my favorite so far so I'm going to bring it over here. Here it is. I'll bring that a little bit closer. Um, you can see um, we've got some beautiful butterflies here. We've got a little window, but there's no acetate involved. We're going for 3D today. Um, and what I've done is I've, um, that's the front cover. Um, and what I've done is we open that up. We've got a little butterfly peeking through there. Um, and we turn to the back and you can see we've got some more beautiful papers from this kit which I'll tell you about in a minute and then what I've done here is I've made a little concertina not a concertina what is this this is like a storage place for um, little bits of ephemera you could put journal cards in there but the reason I created this one today is that since I've started journaling and writing in my journal myself um, every day I'm looking for bits and pieces to sort of decorate my pages, write things on um, and just embellish it more. So I came up with um, this sort of idea that you can put inside your journal or, or it's it's a piece of ephemera, but it's also got the bits and bobs that you need to decorate it. So, for example, in this first compartment, I've got a couple of mini tags. I've got a few labels. Um, and I've got some stamps. So those are things that I might want to embellish my page with. So we don't, um, I didn't think of that before. I wasn't really writing in my journal. Then in the second one, um, I've put in a couple of flowers, like wild cuts that I might want to decorate. And I've also put in quite a few um, butterflies as well. So those go in there. And then in the last compartment, I've put in some of the tags and these tags are really pretty. Um, you can decorate them as you are journaling, um, make them flips right on the back, do whatever you want, put some tabs, um, decorative um, twine or fabric or ribbon or anything you want to on the top there as well. And those go into the last compartment. So that's what we are making today. I hope that you are going to enjoy doing this with me. Um, you can even, you know, write some other things, put um, some scrappy notepad at the back here as well. I thought of doing that as well. So that's what we're going to do today. I also think this would make a beautiful cover for a journal or even a beautiful card. So, you know, we've got lots of different options here today. Right now, what you can't see on the camera, I don't think too well, is that I've actually used vellum and a piece of paper under here. So we've also got a bit of um, texture going on so it makes a bit of that noise um, and I like the 3D I didn't put acetate I wanted it to be different from what I did for number 15 um, and have that 3D um, bit of texture on there so that's what we're going to do and I really love it all right so I hope that you're going to love it too right so what do you need well, the first thing I used was one of these large envelopes that I used before. And just to let, so that you know, oops, um, this measures nine inches by uh, six and a half inches. So if I'm looking in centimeters, we're looking at 16 centimeters by 23 centimeters and this envelope I'm going to fold in half now um, you don't have to have such a big envelope you could have smaller envelopes um, and join two smaller envelopes that are half the size um, together that would work as well because we are going to fold it in half you could make up your own envelope just use paper and um, fold that so that's it's all up to you I'm just using what I have and this is going to be perfect for what I need today. So you need one one of these or two smaller ones. And then I've also been rummaging through my envelope drawer and I've found um, quite a few of these square ones. Now I was quite happy with this because 
It's just the size I wanted it to be to fit on the inside here. It's a bit long. Um, and I ordered these in error. I thought there was something else and then they arrived and I haven't used them. So we will be using these today and we will be trimming them down. So, excuse me. <laughs> um, we're going to be trimming off a piece here. Um, you can see I've done it with the previous one. And what I suggest is I'm keeping all these bits because I'm going to think of something else to do with this. So don't throw these bits away that you are going to trim off. So you need three of these or however many um, compartments you want to make. So three of these. These measure um, six, just over six inches or... Um, 15 and a half centimeters and it should be the same this way as well yes all right so these are just over six by six inches or 15 and a half by 15 and a half and we need three of those so that's what we're going to use envelope wise and then um, I'm using the beautiful kit today from chapter one as I said um, and this is called blue butterflies and peacocks I think yes um, and here are some of the pages from that. So we've got this one, which is going to go on the inside cover. So this is beautiful. I really love these colors. And then what I did was one of the pages from the kit I have printed. Um, I'll put it down in here. Otherwise, you won't see it too clearly. Let's turn that over. There we go. Is this page. And what I did here was I printed this on um, vellum. Or tracing paper anything like that um, so that's what I've done there and that is so pretty I love that um, and then I've taken a page from the shabby chic the pink kit I used the last time shabby um, chic um, so this is one of the pages from there which is like a tea dye doily pattern it's just a, a very neutral shade because I'm going to actually put that on the top like that so that's what we're going to do with that then I've got this one which is going to go on the one side of the compartments and that on the other beautiful love that and then this is a page of the tickets that come in the kit um, I haven't printed the whole kit. I've just printed the pages that we're going to use today. So here are some of the tags. Aren't those lovely? Absolutely striking blues. Beautiful butterflies in here. I just love that. Okay, so that is what we're going to use today. Now I've printed this on thicker card. Um, and I've printed this on um, 150 gram paper. Or, uh, yeah, I think somewhere around there so it's just slightly thicker than normal um, so that's what we're going to use today so I have cut those out you'll be glad to know I just wanted to show you these pages so that you knew what we were working with and how they looked um, so let's get on and start so the first thing you want to do is just divide this in two like that and we want to take our bone folder and just make it nice and flat like that. All right, then just go and stick this down. You're not going to need this for anything. And we are not needing to get into an acetate window or anything like that. So much easier today. Just stick that down. There we go. Okay. Um, now, what I thought was we'll start with the front. Um, and the first thing that I did was I took um, a cut a piece of the paper that looked like the tea stained um, doily. And I've cut two of those. So that is going to go over here. And then I've got another one for the back. So uh, we want to use two of those. Let's just make sure they're not... Um, too big i might take a uh, thin a bit off here um, and the reason why i don't want to go right to the spine um, because it makes it just too thick and bulky so um, don't make that too thick and bulky let's just see i'll do the same with that one as well okay i don't know why i've got my wonky ruler out 
I think it's because it's the one that does centimeters and inches. Okay, well, we don't want to be looking at that one anymore. I'd rather use my other one. <laughs> okay, all right, so we've got that, and that should be a lot better now. Yep, it is. All right, so that's going to be the one thing. And then what we want to stick onto each of these is uh, a piece of paper that is um, printed onto the tracing paper or vellum. All right, so um, I've cut out a piece that's going to go onto there and one onto the other as well. Just bring some beautiful shades through if you have a look there. So it just gives a little bit of texture. So we've got one for the front and one for the back. So that one's the front and that one is the back. And what I did here was, if you have a look, I have just um, torn the edge so with my ruler so that it just gives it a little bit of a rough edge like that. All right, so we've got a front, we've got a back. Um, and then all I did with this was, let's just move this out the way quickly, is take my glue stick um, because I'm going to stitch around these on the edges and then just very gently, ever so lightly, it's just to hold it in place while you're stitching. We want to just put this on top of that. So there we go. We've got one done like that and then just to keep it flat and attached. So not very much at all, ever so lightly. You don't want to leave any lumps of glue stick anywhere. Oh, this one might be a bit long. Oh, let's just do it this way. And there we go. Okay, so that'll work for the moment. Quite happy with that. And I might need to trim off a bit on this side. Ow. Oh, over here. I did just stab myself with the knife. <laughs> There's no blood at the moment. <laughs> okay. Gosh. That was quite sore. <laughs> See? Pay attention, Angela. Right. Okay. So we've got that sorted. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to stitch around each of those in a minute. I want to prepare everything that we need before I go ahead and do all of that. So I've got those two bits for the front and back. So we've got that. Now we want to do the inside bits. So what I did was I took the page that looked like that and I trimmed it and I've just cut them in half to fit uh, the inside. Now this is slightly um, smaller and that's what I want because I've actually got a blue piece of parchment that I'm going to uh, stick in over there and there so it gives it a bit of a border. So I'm going to grab that quickly. Okay so here's some really light blue parchment. I got it off eBay. I have no idea what make it is. It was a long time ago I bought this um and i haven't really been using it so i am going to be using it today so what we need to do is just quickly i wanted this to go a little bit outside the edge of my um little envelope here so you can see it's just gone past the edge so we're going to take the the ruler again um, with a serrated edge and I'm going to just um, pull off the edge here. I've done it a little bit wider because I can always use that piece. So if it's too thin, I won't be able to use it. And then I'm going to do the same on this side. Okay. And then we just want to work out exactly how many, how far we do want that over. So that looks good. And then I'll just make a little mark over there and lean it straight across like that. And we need to line it up with that bit and that bit. So I'm just getting my little marks in place. 
which I don't normally show you how I do that. So that's sort of how you do that. And I'm sure you all know how to do that. And now we just want to get this straight and then is that lined up? Yep. So we've got that over there. Had to put the glasses on, ladies. Again, they were on my head. And then um, let's just work out quickly. I don't want it to go round or anything like that. So we want it to go... This is easier. Uh, we wanted to just be short of that. And then well, we'll just do it. We'll have a piece out the middle, really. So there's the one. Just let me centralize this. What am I doing? Right, so and then we'll have another bit. So we're going to have a very narrow piece of the middle there, just like that. So, right, so there we've got our parchment paper. Now, um, what I'm going to do is, is just start preparing some of this um, and very lightly just give it a little dusting of some distress ink if that's what you like to use um, so we're going to do that or we're going to stick that on there and then we're going to take this one and do the same I must say I absolutely love um, the kits at chapter one at the moment on um, yesterday I think it was I bought this one strawberry one a tulip one and oh gosh that was so uh, and a french one yes i went all out yesterday it was payday <laughs> so yeah i did i i did um treat myself there and i just couldn't help it because they're all beautiful and uh, some of them can even intermingle the strawberry one's beautiful it would work with this the french the whole thing so going to be using some more there so don't be afraid to go and visit those ladies at chapter one sue and jan some beautiful um, goodies right so that's gonna um, end up going over here um just want to check yep that's where i'm gonna have that so i just want to make sure i stick this down um because we will be just giving this a bit of a stitch as well so Just like that just make sure that you put it on I'm putting it on further to the left hand side than the right um, I think that's about it okay so we've got that and then on this side we're going to do the same I'll just make sure the peacock's the right way around. A little bit high. A bit low. <laughs> just right. Sound like Goldilocks and the three bears. Right, so there we go. We've got those sorted. We've got those sorted. Um yeah so let me get done with that and then i what i'm going to do is i'm just going to sew around the areas here just to give it a bit of a effect and here i'm going to sew around here twice and all of these and i'll meet you back here in a minute literally all right so here we can you can see what i've done i've just made a, a stitch to border around these two here so that one's upside down just like that so there's that and then I have stitched double stitching around these two here and you can hear it's already crinkling and I love that sound so there we go that's the front and back that's going to go onto the front so I just want to give this a little bit of a, a dusting sprinkling <laughs> of 
uh, Distress Ink on the edges here. I've got a little thread there, so we just take that off. Um, just to do that a little bit. Gosh, the weather's been really warm here today, which is lovely. Lovely summer weather. I hope the weather's all lovely and warm where you are. Um, it, it's terrible when you <laughs> you want to craft, but uh, the weather's like so lovely. You do, uh, uh, it distracts me. Um, I'm trying to keep focused, but obviously I had to work earlier today, so um, you know there's that as well. But yes, yeah, summer's coming, and then I can have some holidays. Well, a break from work, let's say. Um, right, so now we just want to give this a bit of a dusting on the edge of the parchment. Okay, and then on this one as well. Sorry about... Um, Inking it can be, I know it can be tedious. All right, so hopefully that's all I need to do on that for the moment. All right, so let's get um, putting this lot together now. Um, and then we've got the, the main bit. So first thing I want to do is I want to stick the front on, front and the back. So I'm going to just put these aside for a minute. And I'm going to take this glue here, my art glitter glue. Um, because I'm not going to be stitching again and this one um, does stick really well so I'm happy about that so that is the front um, and this one is the front as well just checking I've got the right things and got it the right way etc so we'll put on some of the art glitter glue And, and as I say, and you hear me say this every um, video, uh, you know, you don't have to be stitching. You, you can just glue. Um, it's just my personal choice. Right, so this one uh, does stick fast, so we need to just be fast. So get that positioned like that and get that stuck down. Okay, so we've got a, a, a little gap here, which is perfect. That's what we want. I don't want to bulk up the crease area there. So there we go. That's the first bit on. Now let's do the back bit. Same procedure. So we just want to stick this down. And my daughter wanted to try... Um, a takeaway today uh, so she decided she heard that KFC was open through the drive-thru and um, as teenagers are uh, she hadn't had one for uh, all the 10 weeks of the lockdown at least um, probably longer but uh, so I thought all right if you go and do a job for me and like I got her to um, high pressure the pavers um, I'd take you. Well, ladies, worst choice I ever made. I don't want to tell you that I spent over an hour in a drive through queue while I um, appeased her to get her <laughs> takeout that she'd earned. Oh, my gosh. She did say to me it was the best takeout she's ever had, and that's probably just because she hasn't had it for ages, but I don't recommend it. I really don't recommend it at all. Uh, the queue was horrific. Horrific. So be very mindful if your children are <laughs> asking you about takeouts because I know uh, I've seen McDonald's will be opening their drive throughs next week. Can you imagine how lo long that queue is going to be? I'm not going. I'm not a fan of it anyway, but obviously, you know, they like their treats. Right, we're going to stick this onto the front page um, and the way I'm going to do this is this way so that I can see how I need to even it out. 
so there we go and then very quickly make sure that i'm not going over that line so we just want to move that a little bit away and then that should be in the right spot there we go okay looking good and that's how you do that okay so that glue will keep that down we don't have to worry about that so just giving it a little bit of a dusting on the other side of the parchment not too much right and i'm not going to stick this one down now and there's a reason for it because this one is going to help with the middle section of what we're doing in there so we'll do that last so i'm just putting it to the side because so i'll be talking and then i'll stick it down and make a big mess of it all right so what we want to do now is we want to um sort out the front and make the little um circle or whatever shape you want to use um, on the front so um what i did was i had a couple of butterflies um, on there um, i'm just going to grab those quickly um, i've got these three butterflies come from the kit um, and what i've done is i'm going to have one over here i'm going to have this one over here somewhere and we're going to have this one over there we're going to put it on top of that one i think yeah something like that like that all right so i i do that so that i can work out when i m make this little circle that it the other butterflies are where i want them to be so that's what you need to do really so you can take these two off now um, and bring this over hold that in place um more or less and what i'm going to do is i'm going to run this through my um big shot um, and just make a circle over there all right if you don't have a big shot um you could draw a circle take a craft knife make a cross in it and lift up a piece cut one over and and cut around with your scissors that would work as well it would be a bit of a hard job to do um but that would work um all right so let me go do this quickly and i'll be right back okay so i'm back um and this is what i've used just a small die cut this one for interest sake is um one and a half inches wide so that's what that is um or uh just short of four centimeters so that's what i've used there now um sometimes these can stick uh, this one is pretty loose oh this one is loose but i have before had to use my craft knife just to loosen the little section because there are quite a few layers here yeah so you can keep that make a little token put some butterfly on there or whatever so there we have it we've got a hole right through now that side and that side okay so um that's all sorted and i'm very happy about that uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to just stitch around there like i did on this one um, a little bit of messy stitching going around there once or twice um, and then i will join you all right so here we have it here's the little circle that i've stitched around you can see i've done one or two i think i've actually went around there three times with a bit of straight stitch and zigzag um, and you can see it on that side as well all right so that's all neatly sorted um okay so let's get on now and do the the rest of it and i'll decorate the front um at the end so we're going to just deal with this piece now the actual various compartments um so i'll just put that to the side quickly um, and this is where you'll need your three envelopes um, and what i suggest you do first of all first and foremost is stick these together so what i mean is open up the one take one of them fit it in snugly and then fit the other one in at the bottom so all the flaps are going in the same direction make sure that those are nicely settled in each other they might not be quite straight at the top but slightly shingled but that's all right i'm just going to put my um, pegs on there and then what we're going to do is we're going to just take our glue and um, right 
all right let's hope uh, it's open now there we go run some glue around all of that and hope take that up to that one and then do the same for the next one like that and just fold that up to the last one like that okay so your flap is still open we're not going to put glue on that piece but we've now just got them totally aligned so what we want to do now is we want to work out how much we need to chop off so these are perfect as far as um width is concerned you can see i've got like a um a few a little gap on either side there not much but what we do want to know is um how far we want to chop it off so i'm holding up my um other envelope there pushing this down just um so i get it in as far as possible and now i've got it in place here i can see that i want to just slightly in um there um and that's about it i'm going to use that mark where it is like that just lining this up on my board uh, put my pencil down i need a craft knife somebody asked me the other day the brand of this these craft knives are not really craft knives the, this is a stanley craft knife and i got it at a hardware store i think three or five in a pack for next to nothing um, and they are really great if you are um, struggling and using your trimmer a lot and the blades will cost you a fortune i saw gina mentioning that the other day let me tell you invest in one of these um, they are cheap as chips and really you save your blade on your on your trimmer for um, uh, less i use my trimmer less uh, i love my trimmer but um I don't use it half as much because I'm using this, which is really saves me money. And I, I feel I've got more control with a ruler than I have with a, the trimmer. Right, so we've got that all sorted. As I said to you, keep these. These would make really great little tuck spots or something in your journals, which we decorate them. We've got this. This is going to go this way into our book. So let's just make sure that we bend this nice and tight okay so that will end up going like that in there and that fits perfectly so all we want to do now to finish this off is go to the first um, envelope and we are going to do make in this middle section here i'm going to just run a bead of glue for the middle third or just over a third like that can you see that um, and then I'm going to just put this envelope down on it and smooth my hands over it. Same with this one. Middle third, make a little rectangle and some glue within that area. And then you're just going to drop that envelope like that. Okay. And just press it flat for a bit okie dokie so that's where we are with that now that is going to set nicely in the meantime this is the top and what we want to do is we want to put our little uh, covers on there so what i've got is i took this sheet um, that i showed you earlier which is really pretty and i've pretty much just cut it in half and I've taken a very thin um, sliver off there so that's going to that should uh, I might need to take off another little bit that's going to fit on there so that's going to be my front and that one's going to be the back so I'm just going to give it a, another little trim um, ever so little like that there we go and that should fit really nicely onto those envelopes over there just like that all right so we'll we'll do that um just put a little bit of distress ink on there got a bit dried up 
stuff like that. Just finishes the edges, doesn't it? Just a light um, amount. Okay, so we'll leave that there for the next one. Um, and then just remember, this flap needs to go to the back. Um, so that means this is the right way up. So we want to just take that. Now you could stitch around this if you want, but I'm not going to. That's on the inside. Um, I was just saying to you earlier, the reason I came up with this is with me starting to write in my journals, and I've never done that before. Never, never, never. But I bought a beautiful one from Clara uh, Carita in Germany. Um, she had one, and I'll, I'm going to share something from her soon. So you'll get, I'll, I'll, I'll put a link to her in the description box and um, I decided I bought it because I wanted to have one to write in and it's a beautiful journal um, very floral very birdy natured pastels just me and so it spoke to me and I had to have that one and I've realized now since I've been writing in journals that um, really I need these bits and pieces all the time when I'm doing this something I didn't really think about much when I wasn't really writing in them, you know, I just admire them for their, their, um, the work of art that they are. Um, so, but once you um, have a journal that you, you know, isn't overly embellished and you want to write in it more, um, you want to add your own bits and pieces. So, I didn't want to be, I don't want to be running up and down all the time looking for things. This is, for me, is the answer where I can just, you know, open up my little ephemera holder here yeah, um, and take out some of the goodies that match with the journal I'm wor working with. So that's the reason I have decided to do this. That's what inspired me. So, yeah. So I'm going to put all sorts of bits and bobs in here um as i go and then um i've got it with me in the journal which is great so i thought butterflies flowers labels stamps you know little snippets it holds quite a lot so um it's really endless the opportunities there okay let's just get that there and that there that looks about right okay Okay, this glue does work really fast okay so we've got our covers on now i didn't cover the rest of it i thought no that wasn't necessary i just wanted the front and the back so let's just make sure that this is now as flat as can be like that there we go uh, i made that slightly long there but that's okay it really ever so slightly now what we want to do is the moment of truth <laughs> we want to put some glue on this flap this is what's going to hinge this to our envelope so there's no stitching involved and you know pamphlet stitch that kind of thing right and then what we're going to do is we're going to lift this side up we're going to plonk that where we want it and plonk fast because the glue sets fast um, just to line it up like that and hold it down by doing this you're not going to infringe on the spine um, where the fold of the cover goes so that's why I did that okay so it's looking good and again don't be afraid just to run your bone folder over there so there we go we've got that in place look at this you could make thumb mark, uh, thumb thingies if you want. It opens up like that. How cool is that? Yeah. And um, you've got plenty that can fit in there as well. And now what we want to do is just put on our back panel over that. So that's going to just go like that. So again, don't go straight to the edge because remember it has a bit of an overhang. So I think it was about to that point and over here about that point more or less 
and then just put some in the middle there. There we go. Right, and as before, we're going to switch that over. We're going to now we want to just line it up there like that. Just check it's all perfect and there we go there we go that looks good to me so we can just run that over there like that. okay so there's the back page everything's looking coming together greatly okay loving that okay there we go pretty now um all we need to do now is and i'm going to just put this on here to keep this flat for a bit um so i can finish off the front so what we want to do now is is just do the little bit of decoration so we've got our butterfly um, that one's going to go in there and we are going to bend the wings up a bit so like I like to always do just give it a sprinkling on its wings just to cover up the edges that might be a bit white um, and the same with this one because I don't like that white um, there so this just gets rid of it okay um, and this one we are going to put about there like that and this one we are going to then put at the top somewhere. Oops, my sponge is um, molting. <laughs> We're going to have, I think we'll have one there. don't want to go over the other butterflies. Uh, we'll have one there and we'll have one there. And then I just took um, a couple of these die cuts again. So because there's lavender, I'm using the lavender one. And I've got a light blue one and a, like a really light um, cream one or beigey one. And I'm going to um, angle these a bit like that, cross them over. That's going to go on over there. So I had a bit of this and I had a, a bit of a label which I cut out um, just to use as well. These are Tracy Fox's um, labels, random numbers. So... That's going to be everything pretty much that we need to do here. So let's get going and stick these things on. I think I'm going to start with the butterflies. So we'll do that. And what I did was I um, did again the middle third. Because I'm looking for, um, you know, dimension here. So we, we will be bending up the leaves. The leaves. The wings, poor thing. Not leaves. All right, so um, there we go. You can curl it if you really want to do that even more. Um, I have in the past used this, which is just a, a one of my tools for something. Um, and roll it like that. Just roll the wing. There we go. And it gives it a nice 3D effect. So again, we want to just put this in the middle third. Find where you want it. And I think that's the spot. There we go. I like those little gold that it's shining through there. And then the same with this one. Roll the wing in. Roll the wing in. And then again, the middle third more or less okay and then that one's gonna go that way there we go okay so let's just push it in like that okay so let's put on a few bits of a bit a bit of bling a bit of bling So I'll we'll get my little jar out. We're going to put a bigger piece of bling on this one here. And then smaller bling on these ones there. 
Okay, so it's not really bling, it's just pearls. I just want to stick that down there. Okay, so where's the pokey tool? Pokey tool, here you are. I'm better with the pokey tool with this. Right. So this one's going to go there. And then I'm just going to put little ones on here. Oops, there we go, and then one over there. Okay, there we go, over there and over there. All right, so that's the butterflies done. Um, and now we want to just take our die cuts I'm just going to use this one because it's open and I'm very mindful of the the time at the moment okay just like that so let's grip it and I wanted to put that one slightly over this way so sorry blue butterfly it went over your body and then I wasn't going to stick all of these pieces of the wildflower down because I wanted it to lift a bit. But then I think you're going to have to be quite careful with how you work with it. And I don't want the flowers to break off or something. So I got rid of that idea. Okay, so it's coming together nicely. So all that remains to do now uh, for the front cover is um, a little bit of script which I'm just going to put across those stems there um, so that's going to go over here like that then I'm going to just use one of these little labels Tracy Fox and uh, we're going to stick that down just like that over there okay so that is coming along perfectly I'm very happy with that um, and as you open it there you've got your inside you can put some more bits and bobs in here um, you know you could um, for example just take something as simple as washi tape um, and use that or um, my hands are full of glue um, this one I love because it's script and it just it just adds something I don't know I just it's my favorite um, just something as simple as that adds something so there we go so we you can carry on and decorate there I was thinking of um, adding a little scrappy notepad yeah scraps but I might just shove them into one of the compartments um, bits that I might want to use in my journal tearing bits when I'm making some decoration with you know layering up kind of thing so there is that so everything else here is pretty much done I'm loving how it's looking. It's turned out really well. And then it's just a case of filling up these compartments. So we've got some labels, as I said, and those are going to go in the first one. Um, we can make the thumb thingies, you know, the, the notch out there. Um, we are going to put some... Um, I've got some flowers, I've got some more butterflies, how beautiful are they? They come from the kit, these butterflies, and those can easily just pop into this compartment here, and you can fill those up as much as you want, so those are ready to be used. And then the very last um, compartment, I took that sheet of tags, and all the beautiful tags there, um, I've got them all ready and inked to go and be used in the journal as well. So those will go into there. So as you can see, you've got plenty of space to put goodies in there. Um, and you could add more compartments, you can make it bigger, whatever you want to do. All right, so I hope that you've enjoyed that, working with that and, and doing this with me. Um, I love how these have turned out. Um, I just love this kit. So I hope that you've really enjoyed doing that. There's just one other thing I thought I'd mention. Um, 
two things. Uh, people always ask me about butterflies. These are the butterflies that I've put, uh, copied and pasted from the kit and made my own sheet. So I don't go and print out piles of pages and waste them. It's a JPEG file. You can use your crop tool, copy and um, paste onto a Microsoft Word document or whatever you use. I resize them myself. This is the kind of thing that I do with the kits um, that have butterflies in. So this now, set, I save this to the place I keep my kit and then I've got all these already done. So that, I just wanted to mention that will make your life easier. You can do that with any um, piece of the design that you have and it's easy to do. Okay, so that's the one thing. Um, so the last thing I wanted to mention is I do have um, a kit in my um, Etsy store which are antique papery flowers for fussy cutting. It's also got bees, lots of different sized bees. These are beautiful and they match so beautifully with the Nagasaki and some of the other beautiful kits. Um, so there's that and then there's also butterflies that are also part of that kit as well. So little bees as well, different types of ones, very fluffy ones um, that Sherry put together for me. Um, and here is an example of me printing two of these to one page um, where you get smaller ones and you get a lot more. So just wanted to mention that if you're interested in that, I'll put the link in the description box below along with a kit as well. Um, and you can go and have a look and see um, if you are if that would help you with your butterflies or flowers or bees. So great fussy cutting images there. All right, thank you everybody so much today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed what I've made. And um, let me know if this is your favourite or which one's your favourite in the exciting envelope series. Lovely for you, um, lovely spending time with you as always. I look forward to seeing you all very very soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.